So how do you open the airway? You open an airway by doing these two types of maneuvers. The first one is for uh, is you're doing the head tilt chin lift maneuver and the second one if you have a if your patient if you're suspecting that your patient has a cervical spine trauma then you have to use the jaw truss maneuver. This is without the head extension. So there are many ways in uh, ventilating your patient. Some of these are the following. You can do mouth to mouth ventilation, mouth to nose ventilation, mouth to barrier device, using a pocket mask ventilation, and the other one is bag mask ventilation. In um, in placing the in placing the mask to your patient, what technique are you going to use? Let's say you have a bag mask and you're going to uh, place that mask to your patient. You're going to use the easy clamp technique. This is for holding the mask while lifting the jaw. And you have to position yourself at the patient's head and then you should circle the thumb and first finger around the top of the mask. And what are you forming here? You're forming a C. And then you use the third, fourth, and fifth fingers to form an E and the reason for that one is to lift the jaw of the patient. And again, what is your goal here? Making a proper seal to ventilate the patient. Make sure you have a proper chest rise. And proper chest rise meaning you are delivering approximately how many tidal volume that is sufficient for a chest rise. 500 to 600 milliliters of tidal volume that you're producing when you're doing ventilate uh, when you're trying to ventilate the patient and this is over how many seconds one second